Welcome to the College of Tuber Studies. I'm your prof, Frank, and this is your home for YouTube creator tips, tricks, encouragement, motivation, advanced theories, and more. Our video today is for those of us who are just starting YouTube, who have smaller channels, who are trying to grow but still in the early stages of development. And I've heard from several people who are in the situation who are like, where do I get the motivation to keep going? Because I don't have an audience. No one is really watching my stuff. No one cares if I post a video. How do I motivate myself to keep going on YouTube? You see, the thing is, a lot of people don't want to subscribe to a channel until it seems to have proven its value to other people. So a lot of people won't even look at a channel with a small amount of subscribers or especially with a small amount of videos because people want to be engaged with a creator who is constantly producing new stuff. And yeah, it's very difficult to make videos when the whole purpose is I want to reach an audience, but in the back of your mind, you know, when I post this video, no one's going to watch it. It's going to get 10 views over the next month and that's going to be me refreshing the video. It's discouraging, but there's a couple things to keep in mind here. First of all, make the videos for yourself. Make videos that are fun for you to make, that you feel proud of, and that challenge you, that push you in some way. So you can say, I did this thing and I created it, I put it out there. But the other side of it is that even if initially no one is watching your videos, there's no reason why uh, a few months down the road, maybe a year or two down the road, the audience comes and watches those videos. You just never know. Even though it may not be immediate, even though the audience may not be there in the first 48 hours, if you keep working, eventually the audience will be there. And you never know. In a few months time, maybe even sooner than that, you might have improved so dramatically with your craft of making videos that you'll be glad no one saw the early ones you put out. You'll be like, whoa, I'm glad that only got six views. Here's something to keep in mind also, is that a lot of times successful people are just the people who kept going and didn't quit. So if you have two people who have the same level of talent, if one person is working really hard and keeps going and sticks with it even when they're not seeing results right away, they are the ones who are much more likely to be successful than the person who quits. Even if the person who quits is way more talented, double the talent of the person who keeps going, they're, they're not going to go anywhere if they quit, which is obvious, right? But it's, it's just that mindset of keeping at it. There's that old saying, the harder I work, the luckier I get. It's, that's what it's like on YouTube. You can't expect to attract an audience unless you're putting out work. During this early time, it's great. When you don't have many subscribers or any, no one's watching your videos, you only get maybe a handful of views, it's great, it's freeing because you are not bound to an audience and you don't really have to worry about are they gonna like it compared to my other stuff. You can just focus on do I like the video? Is this going to work for me? It also allows you to mess up a lot and put out stuff that maybe isn't that great because you're still learning yourself. It allows you to try new things and not worry about the reaction. And it gives you time to develop the craft, as I said. That's what you really need to be focusing on in the early days. Because who knows what your level of video experience is. Maybe you have none, in which case your videos are gonna be maybe not the highest production quality. So this is a time to keep producing videos, making mistakes, analyzing your work and realizing, oh, I'm doing this wrong. My sound wasn't good enough on this. I didn't edit this right. The lighting wasn't right. I didn't deliver my message in a clear enough way. And this is good because you don't have as many eyes on you. Take the time to work on your craft. Use these videos as just the work that you've got to do. You've got to be putting work out there in order to develop and improve so that when you finally attract that audience, you'll be putting out stuff you're really proud of. Videos that are really high quality, the best stuff you can do. But it's active. You can't just be passive and putting out videos and being like, why isn't anyone watching it? You've got to be actively pushing yourself and being like, okay, what can I do? What can I improve? 
How can I present myself better? How can I pick topics that are more interesting? It's a good time to research. Look at what the more popular YouTubers are doing that are related to what you do and see how can I learn some lessons from them. And the other thing is, when you're creating videos during this time, you don't even have to make them public. You just need to be making videos. Even if it's private, only you see it. Even if you just share it with a couple friends and keep it unlisted, at least you're putting work out there. So my encouragement is, keep going, keep producing work, even though there's no audience. I know it's tough, but just keep doing it. And eventually, if you keep honing your craft, the audience will come. Here's your homework. That's right, we have homework on this channel. In the next seven days, make a video. It's gotta be at least three minutes long, and uh, that's, that's it. That's the only requirement I have. It doesn't even have to be public. You can just make a private video, but make a video three minutes long at least and upload it to YouTube. Just do it. Thanks for watching. I'm your professor, Frank, and this is The College of Tuber Studies.